This is Swamp and Stomp. <laughs> figuring this shit out. We have no clue what we are doing. This was a f***ing disaster. All right, I think there's enough tape, dude. Um, but we got a gator. We got him. We got a f***ing gator. Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Mark again, and welcome back to the Swamp and Stomp YouTube channel. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about how my very first gator hunt went. Now I should mention before this video gets started that all four of the people involved in this hunt had no clue what they were doing. I mean, we, we were all brand new to this. This all started out because my buddy Dom, who's in the video, uh, said that he wanted to get into gator hunting. And, you know, and I was like, you know what, so do I, so let's apply for tags. Uh, so a bunch of us applied for tags, and of course, the guy that's never done any kind of hunting before uh, gets tags. So he's been out a couple times already, and uh, they have they have struck out. They uh, they haven't managed to to uh, get a gator to the bank stick, and um, and so he still has two tags to fill, and and then comes the last weekend. So you know, a few days before the last weekend, he calls me. and He's like, man, I can't get these tags filled. Do you want to help me fill them? And I'm like, well, I've never gator hunted either, but I've spent a lot of time around gators. I've accidentally hooked gators while I'm fishing. Uh, and I felt pretty confident about how to go about doing it. So uh, my basic plan was we'd go to the STAs where we have the tags. We would drive around on the levees and find gators in the canals. Then we would use some heavy duty fishing rods, you know, something you'd use for like a tarpon. and. Um, and cast a relatively small, like a 7 knot treble hook over its back, set the hook on it, um, and generally speaking, what a gator will do is, if you don't pull on it after you've hooked it, it'll just swim to the bottom of the canal and sit there. So you can use the line from the fishing rod as like a locator. Um, so once we, we had them sitting on the bottom, the idea was we would launch the kayaks, canoes, whatever we were fishing out of or hunting out of, into the water, go over top of them until we had that line going straight up and down. Then we would use a hand line, which had like a really big treble hook on the end, uh, to try and snag into them. And once we had that in, the idea is that we'd have a lot more control because that was a pretty, uh, pretty strong uh, connection point. Um, so we had a few different hand lines with us. We had a harpoon with us, uh, and we were we just brought all kinds of things with us uh, to try and figure out how to do this. But regardless, uh, this, this levy situation wasn't really working for us. So we decided to take a new approach. And uh, there's a couple canals that run through the middle of the cells that you can't get to uh, from the levy. So we decided to check those out by launching the canoe and the john boat and paddling through these canals uh, in search of gators. And pretty quickly, uh, after about 15 minutes of cruising through this canal, Dom managed to get hooked up on a gator. So we got over there and the gator had pretty much like sat down in the middle of the canal on the bottom just like I figured that it would. So I got the hand line out and I started, you know, through, if, if this was the, uh, the fishing line, I was throwing the hand line, you know, across it trying to uh, figure out which way the gator was laying. Until so finally I was pulling it in and I felt a little something. I set the hook as hard as I could and the gator went crazy. <laughs> well, let's just go. Give me that fucking harpoon. Here. Wait, actually, no, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna try. I, I can't do this and harpoon. He's like, he's like trying to turn around. Uh, this is when we found out what the Florida sleigh ride is all about. This thing dragged us all up and down that canal uh, for a while, um, and I basically just kept slowly lifting it to the surface. And then it would freak out, and I would let it go back down. And I would lift it, and yeah, let it freak out, uh, just to tire it out. Uh, the whole yeah. time, trying to make sure that it didn't get its head above water, uh, so that it could take another breath. Uh, in the head, he's trying to bite. Look at that. Yeah, if you see his head come up, fucking nail him. As we pull it to the surface, we realize that we're hooked into the tail, which means that every time that we're pulling it to the surface. That head is pointed straight down, and um, and so there's no way to get a bang stick to it to, uh, to to finish him off. So we decided that we needed to get a hold of the front end of the gator so that we could lift him up like 
from both sides and keep him level. That way his head would be flat and we could get the bank stick on it. So uh, we tried lifting it up and stabbing it with a harpoon. Is that really good in there? Oh yeah, this thing ain't coming out. Or I mean, I don't want to say that, but I'm, I'm giving. It's like I'm, I'm trying to see where to stab him and I'm not really seeing the header at all. It was head straight down. Head. Oh, he doesn't like me. All right, he's coming up. He's coming up. Did you get it in? No. You got to stab it harder than that, boy. <laughs> I mean, it went in. I felt it go in. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there. there we go. What do we got there? Is that his tail? That's still tail. That's this is his tail right here. Uh, turns out gator skin's incredibly thick, and you have to stab it really freaking hard. Um, so that wasn't working out. So finally, uh, I handed off the hand line to someone else, and I had a second hand line. Um, but this hand line didn't have a treble hook on it. I actually have this giant J hook. I don't even know where the hell I got this thing, but I've had it for years, and I've decided to make a hand line out of it. Uh, so I started throwing that, dragging it slowly, and um, uh, I, felt, uh, I felt some weight. I set the hook on this thing, and I just, I figured... I figured this hook was so big that I had to like pull it as hard and just keep setting that hook over and over again to try and dig that through that thick skin of theirs. And I did just that. I set the hook and I just started yanking on this thing and I pulled <laughs> I pulled the gator's head right to the surface. Yeah. Alright. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, I snagged him in the fucking mouth. I snagged him in the fucking mouth. <laughs> I can't see very well. He's he's always gonna be facing you guys. You guys are gonna have to bang stick him. Okay. Yeah, Dell. Bang stick him. Okay. Give me that, Dell. Yep. Here's Mark. I think he's ready. Right. I mean, he's very calm. But make sure you get this on cams. It is. All right. So we uh, let's see. I take the first safety off. How the hell did I manage? Yeah, you this? gotta take the pin out. Yeah, and then that's the second safety. First safety. Is there any way we can kind can of roll him to control him? I think you hooking in the mouth is kind of a bad thing because now he won't come up tough. I know it's kind of hard to. Can what we do pull you mean? Him up by the ass now? Yeah, if you can pull up by the tail and flatten him Which out, the, uh, that's the tail. Okay. All right, I'm pulling this up. We now. have several things in him. We have oh. three in him now, so we got a very we got control of this situation now. So yeah. Tom's um, like a puppet master over here. <laughs> let, go, let go of the harpoon. You don't. You can't don't, breathe now, which is not cool. No, you're good. Okay. All right, Dill. Uh, pull him up now. Huh? You're good, right? No holes? Dill goes in, hits it with the bang stick, and to my surprise, uh, it was so close to my boat that it sounded like he had shot a hole through the side of my boat. Um, so, <laughs> we all kind of stood there for a second and we were like, holy shit, are we good? Are there no holes or anything? Like, and there was a little bit of water in my boat, so I really wasn't sure if that had already been in there or if it was coming in. Regardless, we now had a dead gator on the end of the line, and, uh, but we had heard that these gators, like, they had these reflexes that still work after they're dead, and that if you touch like the inside of their mouth they still have that reflex where they slam shut on you so you know everybody says once you do kill a gator once you hit them with the bang stick you got to tape their mouth shut so you don't accidentally end up getting chomped by them how the f do you want to do that Baby. reach in there pull the Babe, out. i need you to, i need you to hold him up oh no i need to reach underneath him <laughs> oh, no do no. not do that well this is the only way to deal with him <laughs> okay i don't like this. i don't like that his eyes are still open me neither. Okay, I'm holding them shut. Remember, they don't have any strength to open. <laughs> they don't? No, no they, they don't. They cannot open their mouths very strongly. Just wrap the f out of that <laughs> mouth. Go behind the hook, too. Just fing tape that shit up. <laughs> We're using them. Woo! Let's go. Yeah. More tape, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Are you recording this? Shit? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. All right. This is swamp and stomp. <laughs> 
fucking figuring this shit out. We have no clue what we are doing. This was a fucking disaster. All right, I think that's enough tape, dude. Um, but we got a gator. We got him. We got a fucking gator. He wasn't the biggest and he wasn't the smallest, but he put up a fight. He's not small. He's not little. He put right. up a fight. Ten foot. Ten foot. <coughs> All right. I think he pull needs. Pull that harpoon thing out. Can you pull that harpoon thing out? I can't pull it out. It's in him. It's two inches in him. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Got that? Shit. Gotta come right out if you put some pressure on it. Man. Not a bad shot. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, thank God it's just on the shield. There's a treble hook in his tail, just so you guys know. Can you pull his head towards the fish? I sure <laughs> yeah, you sure will. See, that was hooked in there pretty good. That is in there pretty good. Anyway, so then we were able to throw this gator in the boat and we felt like we were on top of the world. We had this thing figured out. Obviously, we were experts now. Not a, if I had a fish, can you pull him just a little bit more so I can get his tail under this bar? Yeah, Are you filming, little... babe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put it right between his legs. <laughs> Damn, look at all that meat right there. He might not be the biggest, but he is healthy. Man, I'm fucking stoked. We got one more. Yeah, dude. We got one more. Yeah. yeah. What, are we going for another one right now? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. We, we gotta, we going back now to assess the water damage, or are we? No, well, we need water damage. <laughs> I think we need, I think we need to get him we out of here. We need another bullet. We don't need. We have four more. bullets. Have four no, bullets. he we, brought more. Then let's go kill one of the gator. So on the way back to the car, we're looking for more gators, and we didn't manage to hook into any of them. But that's okay. We were planning on coming back the next day, and we did just that. Now this first gator we measured up and it was missing a piece of its tail, but it measured up at six foot eight. We figured it was about a seven footer, maybe a little over seven foot if it had all of its tail. We decided the second gator had to be over eight feet. That was the goal. So, uh, so we set out um, and we figured we got this thing figured out. We know exactly what to do. So we went straight past the levee thing. We went straight to the canal, launched the boats, started paddling along and nothing worked we were there was no gators to be found we weren't able to snag any of them we were out there for a solid two hours with nothing to show for it we did manage to hook into one and uh it was pretty small it was really feisty it was hard to catch up to it uh, when i finally got the the hand line set into it it came free it ripped out and on the way out it caught the fishing line and ripped that out too so gator was gone so, with our tail tucked between our legs, we went back to the truck and had to regroup. So this time we were like, all right, let's go back to the levee thing. Let's try that. So we start driving along the levee. We're starting to cast at gators again. It's a lot harder now that it's dark because you know, we're making super long casts um, and all you can see is a pair of eyes with, with your little red headlamp. So, uh, so that was relatively difficult. And... Um, it was like 11.30 and I remember telling Bree, I was like, if we're not hooked up on a gator by midnight, I'm calling it quits, I'm heading home. None of us really thought it was gonna happen anymore. And in fact, I had already kind of given up. I was sitting down um, like on the, the side of the levee, uh, just kind of chilling, waiting until other people were, were over it. And Dom calls me on my cell phone and he's like, yo, I'm hooked up. Hell yeah. So we race over to where he's at. He's a couple hundred yards down the levee. Uh, we get there with the trucks and we, we launch the John boat real quick because it's super light and easy to launch. And uh, Dom hands off fishing rod to Dell um, and me and Dell get in the John boat and we start going out to the skater. Now the skater's going crazy. It's like dragging us up and down this, this canal. Meanwhile, we're still just hooked in with a fishing rod. So we want to get that hand line in as quick as possible. Uh, eventually it managed to calm down and I guess I had learned a thing or two about how to hand line from the night before because I think within like three tries I was hooked into that gator with the hand line. So do we have a hand line in them or no? Oh, oh well okay, so what do we got? just got to bang it, huh? <laughs> well, should I start lifting so we can get a look at them? Let's get a look at them. Figure out what we're hooked into. Yeah, I don't think he's that big, but... Uh, here's a, he feels significant. 
Well, he doesn't like that. That's not a compliment. You called him fat. Um, finally, it starts to calm down, and uh, just like the last time, we were like, let's get that second hand line in because once we, once we did that last time, it was game over. So we're trying to get this hand line in and we're struggling. It's significantly deeper in this canal and the angle of the hook just isn't that good. Finally, Dom comes up with a good idea and he says, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lift up on the hand line that's already in it so that the gator kind of like picks up off the floor a bit. That way that second hook can kind of swing underneath him, give it a better chance to get hooked in. As soon as he did that, I think it took me two tries to get hooked in. Again, I hooked it right in the shoulder. Man, when I hooked in with that second hand line, all hell broke loose. This gator lost it. Uh, Holy smokes, there we go. Oh, yeah, I'm oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, baby. Oh. See me. Banged him right there. That's what I was thinking, man. I didn't see his head, but... I honestly think we could just cut the fishing line off. Should we? <laughs> I think we should, it's Dude, in the way. It's not doing anything. It's in the yeah, way. <laughs> cool, I'll be ready with bangs Alright, you're the bang. Don't, don't shoot a hole in on my boat yeah, now, please. please. Don't don't shoot a hole. I ain't shooting holes in nobody. We're hooked in good now. God. Oh, Tail. Um, finally, it calms down. We're like, alright. Let's lift it up, get the bang stick on him. And this is when we realize this thing is a beast. Yeah, not yet, not yet. He's right there, there's his head. Can you, I just feel like, hold on, don't, don't bang him yet. I, I feel like we need to turn him around. Off. I feel like we need to turn him around. I think you need to take this one. I All think right. the person banging needs to be coming from the other side. All right, here. Unless you bang from that boot, but bring closer. All right, I'm putting that first safety back on. Bring what closer? I get closer to him so we can switch lines. Alright, I can't get anything just yet. Dom, you gotta pull. I need to. Fuck, oh, okay. Hold on. You got it? Hang on. Oh, your hand off? Honestly, Dell, you might want to grab that hand line and pull it from him too. So. Yeah, I might do that. Oh, 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 don't leave. Take it. Alright, so good job. What the fuck? There it is. I think I just felt him go very limp. Yeah, me too. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! yeah. Woo! This is a dead gator. Yeah, bro. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Del's the man! Del is the man! Did you hit the spot, dude? I hit the spot. Alright, let me grab his legs. Get better grip on those. So, can you grab the tail? Sure can. Grab the tail, I'll grab the leg. Mark, grab a leg. Alright. Ready? One, two, three. You know, we could just grab my tow rope tied to the truck well, and drag. Let's do that one more time. Yeah, I think we're, we're almost there. Ready? One, two. One, two three. Every time we do that, his face is so close to my foot. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, should we tape him? Yeah, yeah. tape him. Alright. You guys ready with the tape? Get uh, some of this off. God, his head's so much bigger. Right before the be tornado's right. coming in the rain. Exactly. <laughs> All right, I'm happy. Are you ready? Yep. I need to be right where you're at, so you're gonna have to oh, step okay. that way. We'll go. Don't try this at home. Crazy. Go crazy. Dude, this one is so much bigger. Go a little further down. This is the last tag. We don't need that tape anymore. Okay. Oh, his foot's moving. All right. Oh. All right, let's get that out. Yeah. All right, let's roll his ass over. Get a good look at him. Hell yeah. <laughs> Where'd you look stick at that him? shot, Oh, dude. perfect shot, nice. dude. Should we cut the spine? I can't. Uh, yeah, we should cut the spine. Yep. Yeah. Can you see it? I mean, I don't think he's f***ing moving, dude. Get it right there. All right. <laughs> Woo! Nine foot, five and a half! Yeah. Yeah. Awesome! Oh, awesome. All right. Woo! All right. Anyway, 
it was a really cool experience. I'm, I'm really uh, glad, I'm really uh, appreciative that Dom invited me to come out with him uh, so that we could experience this. I am now hooked on gator hunting. It was so much fun. Next season I'll definitely be applying for tags again and hopefully getting out and doing the same thing. Um, so I just want to thank everybody that was involved, everybody that helped out. It was a really good time. All right, I want to thank all of you guys for tuning into the Swamp Stomp YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do that now. If you like the content of this video, of course, give us a thumbs up. Babe! Uh, yeah, babe, I've been waiting for you for hours. Let's go! All right, I gotta wrap things up. Uh, as always, stay safe, be diligent, and good luck in the woods, guys.